Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we are looking at a question where we are given a simple fraction and then asked to find the sum of two fractions. It's a fairly straightforward question, so maybe you can challenge yourself to try to solve it under a minute. In the following question, we are given a is equal to 1 over b and from there we are trying to find the sum of these two fractions. There are several approaches to solving this problem. Some are more tedious than the others. So let's try to find the easiest one. The first thing we notice is that this fraction is conveniently set up in such a way that I can do a cross multiplication and do a times b is equal to 1. From there, we notice that the number 1 is on both the denominator of these fractions. From here, we can get rid of the two ones in the denominator by doing a substitution. So this is what it looks like. I have square root of 2000 over a square plus ab. Notice that I've substituted 1 with ab and plus square root of 2000 over b square again with a substitution 1 becomes a b from here if i look at the terms on the denominator i can isolate out the common ones so what i have is now square root of 2000 over a and a plus b plus square root of 2000 Again, we are doing a factorization, so b bracket b plus a. From here, if I want to keep a plus b as the common term of the denominator, I need to find a way to get rid of a and b. And to do that, remember, early in the question, we have established that a, b is equal to 1. So in other words, this is what I can do. I can multiply the numerator with a, b. If I multiply by a, b, I'm essentially multiplying by 1 and not making any changes. So the denominator remains the same. Again, I'm doing the same thing to the back part. Square root of 2000 multiplied by a, b over b, 1, I'm sorry, a plus b. If I can do that, then I can cancel out a with a, b with b. So what I end what I end up with now looks like this: I have square root of two thousand multiplied by b plus square root of two thousand multiplied by a over the common denominator of a plus b. From here, if you look at the numerator, I can isolate a plus b and then the common term which is square root of 2000 divided by a plus b. So this term and this term will cancel. What I end up with is square root of 2000 which is equal to square root of 25 times 16 times 5. I can break it down. That becomes 20 multiplied by the square root of 5. That's the final answer for today's question. I thank you for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.